Hi, this is Theo from Pocketblocks.com. In today's sketching tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to simplify when you are sketching a building. Let's take a look at the photo reference that I will be working from. Let me zoom in closer to point you to some important things. Let's take a look at the windows first. So the windows, they have a lot of grills. Take note that in this section here, there are like six pieces of glass. And at the bottom section here, there are 10 pieces of glass. So it's 6, 6, 10, 10. And on the left and the right side of this window, you see all these horizontal lines. And at the top of the window, there's this sculpture. And there's this triangle here. And there's some little sculpture inside the triangle. Let me zoom down a bit. This semicircle area here, there are little, I uh, think, little blocks here that goes all the way around. And there is a window here. Same thing, there are sculptures on the left side, right side, and the top. Let me zoom down a bit and bring you to this area here. Here you can see this, um, I'm not sure what these are called, but it's there quite a lot and quite complicated. And the background here is quite complicated as well, this area here. When I'm drawing a structure like this, usually I will draw the longest line that I see first. So in this case, this will be this line here at the top, here at the middle, and here at the bottom, and also the vertical lines. And this line here, and also this line here. By the way, I'm using a Uniball Gel Impact because the line is thick enough for the camera to capture. So I'm just going to start with the top line first. It's slanted upwards. And then the vertical line on the left side goes down like this. It's going to be a bit longer than this top line here. And comes here. And this line will connect with this line. So it's something like that. Next, I'm going to draw the line in the center, which is actually above the halfway point, so, and it tilts upwards to the right, so something like this. You can see that there are a few lines, it's quite dark, so I'm just going to add a few more lines there, maybe three lines, and this line here as well, it's quite dark, so I'm just going to go in and add in a few more lines there. Next, I'm going to add in this line here, just below the triangles. Remember, I always draw the longest lines first. And next, I'm going to draw the side of this building, which is about, I think it will end here, around here. Come down, and this, there's this balcony thing going on here. It goes in this direction. And let me see, it will come here. All right, something like that. Next, I'm going to draw the windows. So make sure that the windows, the spacing between the windows are correct. So each window here is actually about one window apart. And from this window to the edge, it's also about a window apart. So there are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Something like that. And note that the window is about has there's some space below the window so i have to take note of that anyway i'm just going to just draw and see how it goes so this is the first window second window and third window i'm going to draw the triangle as well Just now I was mentioning that there are some details in the triangle, so I can go in and add a detail. Not. If you take a look at my detail and their detail, it's not um, act, not the same. Now for the windows, for the windows I can do something like this. Since I'm looking upwards at the building, I'm going to be able to see the underside of the window here. I'm just going to add this thing here first. And 
next up I'm going to subdivide the windows into different sections to show the grills and uh, window panes so I'm just going to divide it like this first and then go down like this I can do this one two three four this is one way to doing it let me zoom the other way to do it will be to again divide it first and then draw the individual window pins inside notice that the actual window pin is supposed to be squarish but my window pins are actually more like round but if you are more careful you can just draw squares so now I have something like this now let's take a look at the reference again just now I was mentioning that there are actually six pieces of glass on the in this portion here and ten pieces of ten, ten pieces of glass here. Now when you look at my sketch here, I only have four pieces here and six pieces here. Anyway, it doesn't matter because the person who is looking at a sketch is not going to look at a sketch and compare it to the building. Even if he's going to compare it to the building, he's not going to notice things like this. He's just going to see, hey. There's a window, there are some uh, grills, and there are some pieces of glass. And if you compare it like that, it's going to be accurate. So let's start by drawing the sculptures at the top here. I'm just going to scribble some lines there at the top. You can see that I'm just scribbling. Same thing here for this window. Notice as I'm drawing the window, I'm also drawing the longest line that is within the windows first, which is this horizontal line here. I mean this vertical line here and this horizontal line here. And I can repeat that for the bottom of the building. Draw the longest line that represents the window and then go in to divide the windows next I'm going to draw the top of the building so the top of the building is represented by one semicircle structure that goes from this side here to this side here zoom out a bit so that you can see there are a few lines represented by this semicircle, so I'm just going to go in and draw a few more lines. There is a window there as well, so that's represented by a square. Draw the longest line first, draw the indent, and then draw the grills. There are two sculptures on the left and right, so I'm just going to draw sculptures on the left and right. Just just scribble something there all right next I'm going to draw the top of the building here which is here I put a dot there first and then I will just connect it to the dot and it tilts upwards come down to this section here there is a structure here I'm going to put that line there first and then comes down here at the top I'm going to draw another line There's something up there. I'm just going to do that for to represent whatever that is up there. Now, on the side of this structure, you have this um, thing going on. I'm just going to lay down the end point first before I draw the semicircle, so it's much easier for me to do that. And there's a circle here, and it goes all the way down like this same thing for this structure draw this and there is this chimney like thing that goes all the way up and come down and goes all the way down here and one line here as well 
and this will connect to this point here this line here all right on the side of this building there are some windows i'm just going to draw the windows very simply like this and there's one window here as well notice that in this case i'm not going to even draw the glass oops i think the line is a bit wrong never mind let me draw the triangle now and also there are some sculptures i'm just going to lightly scribble the sculpture all right next i'm going to draw remember this this thing that is here all these things now i'm going to draw those things let me start by drawing a rectangle and then i'm just going to fit all those things inside i actually just represent them by with triangles same thing here just represent them with triangles now for the background there it's much more complicated so i'm just going to distill down the shapes into very simple blocks just a square block like this and a semicircle at the top and the perspective line that goes all the way to the back maybe a window and to like that just like that now i'm going to draw this uh, structure here this doorway same thing draw the biggest line here first the longest line will be this line and this line here maybe there's a person walking so i'm going to just put a person here or two and there is a semicircle structure here as well so this is the semicircle structure and this area here is in black so i'm just going to color this area here in black and there's this line at the back oh and the last window is here all right i think that's all there is to my sketch let me zoom down and let you see So it's not a very complicated sketch. I did not add in a lot of details. For example, I did not add in the vertical lines that go on the left and right side. If I were to do that, it's going to look, um, it's going to take, those lines are going to draw attention. See, if I draw this, it's going to draw attention and it's also going to make the scene much more busy. So I don't want to do that. I can also draw the background but for the backgrounds that are represented by other buildings I'm just going to draw the outline of the buildings I'm not going to do too much another technique that you can use to practice simplification is to actually draw thumbnails so thumbnails are actually very small drawings of your larger drawings just to basically a draft of what you are going to draw so in this case I'm going to use the same techniques that I taught you earlier. Draw the longest line first, which is represented by this wall. And then I'm going to draw the side of the wall here. And this line, the next longest line. And the next longest line here. And there is this doorway here. I'm going to draw the semicircle here and draw the roof. So right now I have all the longest lines all drawn. Then I'm going to subdivide this building into half and I'm going to draw the windows. Maybe I'll draw a line here and then draw the triangle. Notice that I'm starting to run out of space. I do not have space to draw in the the grills, maybe I'll just draw in a grills like this. 
and the windows here the top and there's a window here as well So same concept, draw the longest line and then go in and add in the details. And if you do not have any more space to draw the details, just don't draw them in. Let's take a look at some of the past sketches that I drew. This is, by the way, a very small sketchbook. So you cannot draw too much detail in a sketchbook that is this small. So for example, this is the city area of Marina Bay in Singapore. I just drew in the outlines of each building. So I don't have the space to draw in the windows, the individual trees and things like that. So I can only draw in the outlines. Let me move over to the back here. Same thing here. This is uh, an example of a building which is quite similar to this building actually. So same thing, I drew in the longest line and then I'm going to add in the details and let me zoom in to let you see the details and how I actually drew these windows. The glass, the glass is actually just represented by one single dot. I did not even draw in the grills so you can see how much I simplified this. As for the trees, I just merely scribble them, scribble, scribble and just draw down like that and you can see this window at the back, same thing, a rectangle with just little dots and this uh, doorway here. But when you look at a sketch like this, when you zoom out, when you take a, a look from far, you can still recognize the buildings because the shapes are there and the placement of the structure, the features, the details, they are there also, just that they are not particularly uh, detailed same thing for this sketch as well you can see the general shape of the buildings the general shapes of the important structures but when you go in to take a look at the details like the windows i did not even draw the grills for all these windows here i did not draw the towels or the roofs here as well no individual leaves for the trees and this is basically just a shape like that that is how I simplify the buildings in my sketches. How much I simplify actually depends on the paper size that I'm drawing on. If I'm drawing in a small sketchbook, for example, there really isn't much space for me to add in details. And if I try to cram in too much detail, the sketch is going to look too busy and lose its focus. If I'm drawing on a larger piece of paper like A4 or A3, I have more leeway, I can add more details. And for larger pieces of paper, if I do not add the details, the sketch is going to look lacking in details. So paper size actually matters a lot. This is an easy technique that you can try out at home. Just draw the same subject on different sizes of paper or you can use one piece of paper, draw different sizes of box and then try to fit the subject into each box. When you come down to the smallest box, you may find it very challenging to draw, to add in details. In that case, don't force yourself to add in details, just leave out the details. Drawing is not always about drawing everything that you see. What you leave out is actually as important as what you include. So that's all for my tutorial today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section just below. I will try to answer them. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more sketching tips, techniques, art product reviews, sketchbook reviews. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.